So starting off of our connector, this demonstration we're using Amphenol part number 31-2367-RFX. Um, first step is always to make sure all components are present. We can see from our customer outline drawing here, there should be three components, a main body, a contact, and a ferrule. And looking in the bag, all three components are in fact present. Uh, outside the bag, this is what they look like. We have a length of cable here. First step is always to take your ferrule or your heat shrink tube or anything that needs to go on the length of the cable and apply that first before stripping the cable. It becomes difficult afterwards, after you strip the cable and the braid is flared, to put these accessory pieces on. Next, we are going to consult our uh, customer outline drawing again and pay attention to the cape recommended cable stripping dimensions. The recommended cable stripping dimensions do not need to be followed exactly. They are general recommendations. So we see our first dimension for the jacket is 16 millimeters. So I'm gonna dial in close to 16. We currently have about 16.2 there. That will be good. Uh, a razor blade, an X-Acto knife, or a custom cable stripping tool may be used. Um, Custom cable stripping tools generally have specified lengths already, so not every connector can accommodate an off-the-shelf cable stripping tool. A programmable cable stripping machine is much more beneficial if you're doing this in mass production. So I'll take 16 millimeters there. I will score. I'm going to ignore that. The jacket, and then a lengthwise cut. and then the jacket may be peeled off. This should now be repeated for the additional layers. You can see from this cable outline drawing that that 16 millimeter dimension is for the exposed braid. There's supposed to be 7.7 .7 millimeters of dielectric and four millimeters of center conductor. This end of the cable has been pre-prepared. We will now take our center contact and apply it to the center conductor, being sure that the contact bottoms on the cable dielectric evenly. Uh, according to this customer outline drawing, the contact may be crimped. Uh, so we will be crimping this one today. If there is no crimping note present on the COD, then that means the contact must be solid. So now we apply the contact into our crimping tool. Uh, this particular die set is already has two hex sizes uh, unique to this cable and connector. So we will rest the center contact on the tool and squeeze it. And the tool will automatically release. Any center contact is crimped. We will now take the braid and flare that out and take our main body and insert the contact into the body. Uh, on this particular connector, there is a snap roof, so we will feel a click, click so when it is inserted completely. The braid is then flared back down. And we're gonna cut here. And the ferrule is now slid forward and pushed flush to the connector body. We then take the second stage of our die here, the larger of the two, insert our connector. So it rests, the die rests flush up to the back of the connector body. And again, squeeze and it will automatically release and now we have a crimp with the hex going up to the body and a slightly uncrimped area of the ferrule at the back by the cable exit point. And your cable is now connectorized.